Hey YouTube, what's going on? Jay Board with another video. It's been a while since I did one of these, but you know, better late than never. A good old we. So, every video I've watched was pretty much like not showing you what you need, not showing you exactly how to do something, and they're just talking your ear off so they can get you to watch their video for longer and they get more money because you're watching ads. All you need is a Wii, SD port, and a card. And then you're going to need an adapter so you can actually pull some programs from the computer. So, without further ado, let's show you guys the easiest way to go ahead and jailbreak this. So, this is the simplest way. And I'm not going to take you guys through a bunch of unnecessary steps. So, okay, what? What the hell is going on? I'm gonna start getting pissed. Okay, so yeah, down here at the bottom left, click on Wii. Over at Wii settings. We're gonna scroll over to internet. Click on that. You're gonna go over to connection settings. If you are connected to the internet, then all you have to do is click on your current connection, change settings, and scroll over to DNS. You will not auto obtain DNS. You will go to advanced settings and you will type in this number here for both primary and secondary DNS. Now when you do this it's going to end up making it to where when you go to user agreements in a second it will show you a different screen than normal. So again, once you guys type in the primary and secondary DNS, save those settings, and then click on user agreements. It'll ask you if you want to do WeConnect24. That's a yes. It's probably not going to show the same screen as you guys will get, but it's like uh, I don't know, some rainbow thing here, and then it says agree or disagree. Don't click either one of those. Do not do it. Just wait there for one to two minutes. After two minutes has passed, you might need to do it again. Now, you'll still have the primary and the DN uh, primary and secondary DNS set. You won't need to do anything else. So literally just restart, go back to connections, and then it's as simple as um, click on user agreement again and wait in one to two minutes. You might have to do it a couple times, but eventually it's gonna work. And that's that's pretty much it for actually getting the initial jailbreak because once once you wait that one to two minutes it's going to show you a bunch of text and it's going to go all all down your screen and that's actually what's supposed to happen you're not just supposed to sit on that rainbow shit um once you guys go to uh or get this homebrew channel it's going to be blank and that's where again the sd card and this adapter comes in so you're going to need to plug that in here plug it into the computer, and get some uh, applications from Wii Homebrew site. So those, those downloads are safe. I can recommend those. Hey guys, so one thing I did forget to uh, put in here, I'm going to put a series of photos to kind of walk you through the rest of the process, because once you wait there for one to two minutes and you see the text going down the screen, um, the next step is just hitting continue, because it should say that uh, it can be installed on two different brackets and then after that you'll go to um, boot me which is the top number one option you'll have to use the Wii remote sideways to scroll up and to it um, and then the other thing is just waiting for that to load hitting continue and you'll boot up at the homebrew screen the blue bubbles other than that that's when you'll go to the uh, Wii homebrew and uh, download that from the site, uh, all the applications you want. I can also do another video on the applications I recommend and how you can get those set up if you guys would like me to. Just let me know.